was like, oh God, my hands are so cold. Okay, I right, turn off this camera. Oof. All right, I'm at the lake and I'm about to do my cold immersion. And since it's uh, a balmy like 30 degrees out today, <laughs> compared with how it's been lately, like ranging from the teens down to below zero with the wind chills. Um, this to me is what I think of as idyllic. The water's nice and flat. Uh, it's not windy for a change. It's been really windy and I'm so looking forward to going in this today. This water feels awesome lately in general. It's still right, it should be right around 40 degrees. It, the temperature doesn't go up that much unless it's a lot warmer out for like several days in a row. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to bring my phone in with me so you can be an observer as I do my cold immersion. It's probably not much to see, but just, uh, you know, since I talked about it in the last video, didn't really show it, here we go. All right, this is my very sexy cold water get up with my gloves and my hat and uh one thing that's been nice about the weather being so crazy out here here's my traverse across the ice and hope that i don't biff <laughs> it's melty ice fortunately so it's less slippery than it has been lately um the nice thing about how cold it has been out here is that i've been totally alone which i prefer because otherwise you always have an audience <laughs> Um, normally if I had my phone in the water, I would have it in the waterproof case that I use for paddle boarding that floats, but since there's no chop today, ooh, getting in here, since there's ooh, no chop today, <laughs> I'm risking it. So this is perfect because I'm right by the shore. I'm able to get in up to my shoulders. Um... There's a lot of sirens today. I don't know what's going on, but I live close to a fire department and I'm in a super busy area of the city. So there's always sirens and traffic noise and whatnot. But anyway, and I have an audience, which is not my favorite, but that's okay. Um, I'm wondering if you could see over my shoulder, the that pier is like super icy. <laughs> it's beautiful out here though. To me, it's beautiful. I don't know, look. So, normally I just stay out here, about up to here on my neck and shoulder area. When there's no chop, I really like to try to get my neck in more, in part because it's good to get more cold on your neck where your blood is circulating and it's gonna help you get even colder, I guess. <laughs> but also because I have chronic neck issues and I think it's good for the inflammation. Either way, I think just being immersed in this cold is good for inflammation. So I'm gonna just try to be quiet now and just breathe because that's what I like to do while I'm in here is take deep breaths. So see how long I stay in today. Might not be as long. And I don't know, you probably can't see it from here, but that's a little dog barking. And I can't tell, it might be barking at me because sometimes when I'm in here in the winter, it really, for some reason, weirds out dogs. And they'll stand at the shore and bark at me. And I don't know if it's because they can't tell that I'm a person. Or if they're like, get out of there, get out of there. <laughs> I think he's barking at me. <laughs> Cutie. It's okay, I'm good. And I don't know why I tend to, usually I have both hands over my lips and I'm kind of breathing into my hands. And I think I started just getting in that habit when I wasn't wearing gloves and just blowing on my hands to keep them warmer because the hardest thing, like I mentioned in the last video I did on Wim Hof is uh, getting out and getting dressed when you're freezing and your hands start to get numb. So my, my goal is to get into my pants, shirt, socks, jacket and gloves in, in that order and be able to zip up the jacket before my hands get too numb. And what's interesting is in previous years, I had a much harder time doing that. And since I've been doing the Wim Hof breathing ritual before the cold immersion, 
it's like I have more tolerance for the cold and I don't have as much of the, um, one of the things that happens when people do this and you get out, and I still get this sometimes, especially if I stay in longer, is um, your body will like be almost violently shivering. And it's because your body forces movement to warm you up, you know? It's, it's a normal thing that happens to people when they get too cold. But it's also really annoying because <laughs> uh, sometimes it's happened to me when I was like on my way home and then I'm trying to like get my keys out of my pocket and trying to get my key in the, in the lock and it's like my hand is like this and it's really difficult. So anyway. you know and I like to hear the sound of the waves just sort of softly not waves even just the water uh, coming in against these rocks it makes this really soothing sound so one thing I'll say is that one thing I've seen people do when they're new to doing cold immersion is what I think of as theatrics. And I, I don't mean to say that in a dick way, but like, uh, it's, it's like a tendency for people to, to sort of like react emotionally because it's physically difficult and uncomfortable. And one thing that I've sort of tried to do, and I think about it from the perspective of yoga and managing discomfort in yoga or like managing sensations in yoga even not just discomfort but like sort of <clears throat> it's a technique that translates to a lot of things in life like recovery and like um unpleasant experiences unwanted experiences it's um zooming out zooming out of what the immediate experiences that you're having and like instead of just being reactive just noticing just being observant so like I'm I'm noticing lots of sirens geez I'm noticing sensations there's so many people out here today um lately it's been really dead I think people are happy to be able to walk their dogs and not be slipping all over the place because this ice has been dangerous and scary and I have a ongoing very frustrating ligament injury that's like deep in my hip it's like actually pelvic floor so it, it feels like it's really deep in the hip joint and it's really nerve-wracking to walk around on icy conditions when you already feel pain and like it causes fear of falling like what if I get a worse injury because I don't have health insurance and I can't afford physical therapy that costs $200 an hour out of pocket um and that's partly why I do this every day because it's immediate pain relief and it's incredible the deep breathing is what really helps me just feel like okay I'm, I'm in here I'm tolerating this cold I'm, get, I'm very cold and see all my skin that's under the water is turning really red um and I'm gonna get out in a minute here this is usually kind of where I hit a wall mentally I think because I think physically I could stay in longer but then my head starts going when I get out it's, I'm going to be doing the crazy shiver thing. And, it, and yeah, the longer I stay in, the, the more it's going to be like that. And if I was like living in a house that was on the shore, I would probably try to stay in longer if I could just like run inside in my bikini and like jump in the shower. But I have to walk. It's like a five minute walk home, but I got to get dressed, walk home, get inside and get in the shower. And that takes me about 10 to 15 minutes altogether. So I'm going to get out now because I'm good and cold. <laughs> Um, but it's beautiful today. I mean, is it, is it not? Is it not beautiful? Oof. Thanks for coming with me on my little adventure. I keep looking this way, but the camera's like that way. And it's, it's much easier to... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Feels good. It's therapeutic. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing was like oh god my hands are so cold okay i gotta turn off this camera oof i can feel it 
that's it. Thanks for coming with me on my ritual. Okay, I managed to get <clears throat> dressed again before my hands are totally numb. And I just wanted to say something while I'm thinking of it. One of the cool sensations that you experience when you're, oh, this is my, that's a sand cloud. I don't know if you've heard of those, but it's like a towel that's sand resistant. And I absolutely love it. It was a gift from my best friend and I use it every day. I love it. Um, one of the interesting sensations you experience when you do cold immersion after you get out is I can feel it in like inside my throat. And I think that it's the blood vessels like actually like the, the like the carotid arteries. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what I imagine it is. It's the cold, it's like cold blood circulating deep. I don't know if that's what I'm actually experiencing, but it's a, it's a really interesting feeling. Okay, time to get home.